Thanks for having me up here. It's great to be up here. It's my first year. I was the coordinator for the march down in Medford for five years. I'm the former director of Southern Oregon Normal. I was the executive director for five years up until June 1st of 2012. May 23rd, 2012, my facility was raided by MADGE. That's the Medford Area Drug and Gang Enforcement in Jackson County under the direction of the state of Oregon. My husband and I were arrested and we were in Jackson County Jail for seven days under $550,000 bail each. We were charged with more than 25 Class A felonies. We knew our rights because we had great attorneys. My attorney was Paul Loney. You can see his banner right over here. My husband had Leland Berger. Many of you know my great friend Leland Berger. They're both normal attorneys. I suggest you support normal because they've been around for a long time. Southern Oregon Normal is no longer in existence. That chapter closed. There's Portland Normal now. I'm signing up today. Russ Belleville is the executive director there, I believe. He's one of my mentors. I had several mentors along the way after I stepped out of the cannabis closet after 24 years in healthcare and leaving the corporate corruption. I pushed legal pills on geriatric patients and held their hands as they died. It was a shame what the nursing society did to those patients. Knowing that Oxycontin killed them and the plant could have saved them. I watched my husband drool on himself when Oxycontin came out because he was one of the test patients that got to try it out. Our children played in the yard while their dad drooled in the chair. I said no more. I talked to his doctor and we started him on cannabis. He got off all the narcotics except for one. He was on six. He had back surgery and used cannabis and one narcotic. He still uses that one narcotic to this day and cannabis. He's a functioning father and grandfather. He grows our medicine. He does not rely on the government to pay over $12,000 a month on pharmaceuticals under the Oregon Health Plan like they used to. Our resources in this state are wasted because our federal government refuses to take this off of the scheduling as a one. It's wrong. We have to change it. So. All of you have heard today about the legislators. We're active there in Salem. We've been there for weeks now. Anthony Taylor and Anthony Johnson and myself have been there. Many of you have been watching the hearings on your monitors, your phones, whatever you've been doing to watch, thank you. Whatever you've been doing to communicate, thank you. We need more of you to communicate. They are listening to us. Monday, they are going to pass 844. Senate Bill 844 is going to get passed. The governor has written a letter, Kate Brown, expressing her opinions about how she feels about the seed to sale tracking. Many of you can read that letter yourselves on DIP4. If not, you can contact me on Facebook and I'll forward you that letter. Right now as it stands, when you harvest, you can keep all of your weight. There also is now no definition to an immature plant. No, you can keep all your clones. No limit on clones, you guys. That's huge. Those are big wins for the medical marijuana community. Keep your weight. Unlimited amount of clones. 
Another big win for us is cities are not allowed to ban us. They can only zone us on your medical marijuana facilities. They cannot ban us. That's huge. We fought hard. The city I live in, Medford, Oregon, you suck. You suck hard. You raided my facility and you shut off medicine to over 3,000 patients. Some of those patients have died since you shut my facility off from cancer. This week we lost Jesse, who was an advocate for PTSD and even sat on a panel at Southern Oregon University with Peter Buckley and Paul Stanford and myself. Advocating to get the law changed and change the law we did and we qualified PTSD in this state. May Jesse rest in peace. I have five weeks to go and my felony will be turned over to a misdemeanor. It's been 11 months of bench probation. I was able to keep my patient card and my son became my grower. We even got our guns back. In two more years, I get to have my record expunged and I can get my concealed handgun carry back too. I want to give you all hope that lose hope at times. Don't ever lose hope. There is hope in this plant. There is life in this plant. This plant cured Michaela. And this plant cured me. Don't lose hope in this plant. This plant is love. This plant is life. Have a great March and have a great day. Thank you for welcoming me to Portland.